Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Hey, thanks for joining the Sioux Falls Physics teachers here. Uh, problem here is going to look at conservation of energy and work. So now we're going to combine uh, a little work into this idea of conservation of energy. So in this problem, we have a model rocket. It's got a mass of 0.35 kilograms. It's being launched, and it's given an initial velocity of 27 meters per second. And we're going to assume straight upwards, so we're not going to deal with any angles here. Um, it reaches a maximum height of 32 meters. Calculate the resistive force that's acting on the rocket to essentially, I guess it, you would say, slow it down as it moves upward. All right. So, uh, as we mentioned, this is going to be a conservation of energy situation, but now involving some work. Okay. And the resistive force that we're seeking here, that we're looking to find, is the force that is basically going to be the result of that work. All right. So. Here's what, we're, what we've got set up. We know that the rocket is going to have some kinetic energy to start with. It could have some potential energy to start with. In this case, it doesn't because it's launched from ground level. But let's go ahead and put it into our initial equation here. Uh, plus some work that's going to be done on the rocket. Now, in this case, that work is going to be acting on the rocket. So it's going to actually end up being a negative value for work. But we'll get to that here in a little bit. And we know that, that has to equal the kinetic energy plus the potential energy that this rocket ends at. And so essentially, again, what we're saying is the left side of my equation is kind of the ground level, if you will. The final result here, or this kinetic energy, potential energy too, is when we're at that 32 meters, okay? So um, we know the rocket starts with an initial velocity of 27 meters per second. So kinetic energy, one half mv squared, that 27 meters per second of velocity is going to go in there. So I'm going to have one half mass of the rocket is 0.35 times that 27 meters per second. Okay. Now I have no potential energy, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm on the ground, so that part drops out. The work that's been then going to be done on that rocket is going to be equal to the force, the resistive force, which is what we're trying to find multiplied by the distance that that resistive force is done over, okay, or I'm done through, if you will. And then that is going to have to equal, uh, on this, on the right side of the equation, when we reach that 32 uh, meter mark, they do tell us that is the maximum height of the rocket. So we can assume at that maximum height that the rocket instantaneously stops moving and has no velocity. So in that case, I have zero kinetic energy. So the only thing I have to worry about here is my potential energy, which is mgh. So 0.35 is the mass times 9.8 times the height of 32 meters. Okay. And um, I should also mention here, then as we look to solve this, remember we are trying to find the resistive force the distance that that force is done over is 32 meters. So I can go ahead and fill that in here also. All right. And now I'm basically down to a single variable that I'm solving for, which is that resistive force. Now, a uh, little bit different algebra here because I do have some addition in this. So remember that force is essentially going to end up equaling the 0.35 times 9.8 times 32, okay, minus, okay, the quantity of 1 half times 0.35 times that velocity squared, which was 27, okay. And when I do that, I should end up with a negative value for my force, which is what I would expect here, because remember, this was a resistive force that was slowing the rocket down, 
And indeed I do. I get a negative 0.487 newtons of resistive force acting on that rocket. Thank you.